The plans to observe the general elections due in February 2011 were announced as members of the East African Legislative Assembly began a two-week session here in Kampala. They will be deliberating on a number of laws aimed at fast-tracking the East African integration. Notable business to be considered during the two weeks of the Assembly will conduct its plenary and committee sessions will include addressed by His Excellency Yori Kogutum Seveni, swearing in of Honorable Samuel Sita, Minister for EAC of the United Republic of Tanzania, and, new, and two new members representing the Republic of Burundi. Debate and passage of the East African, the East African Legislative Assembly Bill at East of the Administration of IALA Bill 2010, debate and passage of the EAC Service Commission Bill 2010, debate and passage of the Lake Vitoria Basin Commission Bill 2007, debate and passage of the IUCEA Amendment Bill 2010. There will be questions to the Council of Ministers, motions, resolutions, and we'll consider various committee reports. The regional legislative body said it would be naming an observer team soon to monitor Uganda's elections. These elections reaffirm our commitment to the fundamental principles which the EAC is anchored in the rule of law, good governance and protection of human rights. We wish Uganda peaceful, free and fair elections. And as was done elsewhere, Yala will lead the EAC observation missions to these, to these elections. The fourth session of the East African Legislative Assembly meeting is expected to be opened by the President at Parliament where it will be sitting. Lawmakers from the region have, among other things, demanded for the speedy domestication of regional laws like the recently passed Common Market Protocol. When you tell the partner states to harmonize their laws, have they come together to harmonize those laws? You know, those are the kind of questions I think you people should be asking your partner states. Since what's it called the inception of the Common Market Protocol, how many laws have been amended to operationalize the Common Market Protocol? Are we just talking? Are we, what's it called? With us, from our side, we've, what's it called, we've started the process.